This is how to connect your old external hard drive you might have lying around your house to increase your storage on your Xbox Series S. First, you need to connect the external hard drive via USB to one of the USB ports on your Xbox Series S. So there's two on the back of the console and there's one on the front. It does not matter which one you use. So just pick whichever one you want. Once you connect the hard drive, you'll get this message here, use for media or games or apps. And what you want to do is you want to format the storage device. This means you can store and play some of your games from it. There's a few things you need to remember. You can't run current gen, so that's Xbox Series S and X optimized games from this hard drive. You can just use it as a library to store the games. Then you can move them back into internal when you want to play them to see if you're re-downloading them. But you can play some old backwards compatibility games and some Xbox One games from the external hard drive. So what you want to do is you want to click on Format Storage. And remember when you click on Format Storage, this will delete everything from the hard drive. So make sure you've backed up anything you have on it. Or if it's a new one, don't worry about it. You will be good to go and click Format Storage Device. Just call it whatever you want to call it. So we'll just call it Seagate Slim Drive because that's what it is and then you go over and press the enter button boom you'll get this message where it asks you if you want to install things by default on the external hard drive you've just connect or keep the current location which means when you download games they will install on your internal hard drive do whatever suits you i'm going to keep current location and you will then need to format the storage drive so just click on format storage device you can see there it's done Seagate storage ready so let's go on over to the storage so let's see everything and go to manage and go to storage devices and you can see there it is there Seagate slim drive one thing you need to remember for any of these external hard drives to work it needs to be USB 3.0 and it needs to be 128 gigabytes or more if you don't have one of these I'll leave affiliate links down below in the description to some I recommend and you can go and pick one up for yourself for a great deal now that you have this here you can see there's absolutely nothing in it view content it's empty and maybe I want to free up some space on my internal storage so what you do is go into your internal storage go to move or copy and then select what you want to move so for just the purposes of this video, we'll just move something quickly like Quake. Click on Quake and then go to Move Selected. And then we're going to move it to the Seagate Slim Drive. Click on it and then just give it a second once you click Move and you'll see it will start moving it over. And you can see it's pretty quick so you do not have that long to wait. Any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Subscribe and ring that notification bell for all things Xbox coming your way.